Now it's down to Kalmar and Ostergothlin. Let's go here to Kalmar first. I've done gotten rid of that fort, so that's kind of hurting me now. Luzaru. And Novgorod. <laughs> uh, hello there, Novgorod. Let me ask you something. You're hostile to me. I wonder if I could fix myself up, get Novgorod as a vassal, and then we just go after everything. Hmm. It's an idea. Replenishing troops right now would be nice. Um, let them gain 10 influence. Loans are a problem. I just saw there was a nation named Anatolia out here. I guess not. We have become a world power. We are eighth. We can do better than that. Go ahead and get this manpower done. Novgorodian Separatist. New heir. Rather have tax modifier right now than anything else. Um, hmm. Four exhaustions down to thirteen point eight two. Go ahead and attack him. Good job. Let's move off over here to Noteberg. So prepare for Novgorodian. It's really just waiting on this. Rather, I got the better guys though than you know, made kind of everybody up to speed here. Where is man? It's still not to anybody yet. Still waiting on printing press. Trying to make money wherever I can. Save money, I guess, is the name of the game. I'm at 0.98 uh, loss. A lot of this is in interest. 3.37. War exhaustion. I mean, we're losing point one every month, I think. Do that. Even though I have stability to spare, I don't really want to deal with it. Let's go fight peasants. Might as well go ahead and do that one too, right? Military. Let's 
Now we get Terci a free shooter or Tercio. There's one, two, three, one, one. Yeah, we're going to go here with free shooter. Always go with a better offensive morale and all that. Yep, this guy's good to go now. It's not like the board can jump up, is it? Really has a possibility, but not a good one. Not compared to, like, Tickfin. Let's go ahead and sit here on this fort. More centralized. Protestant zealots working through Denmark. Good. Uh, general estates, production efficiency, yearly army tradition decay, maximum absolutism, or we can go parliamentarianism. Um, like the production efficiency. That should translate to better. Treason against Sweden. Yeah, we'll just have to lose that manpower. There's the dock war. I have no clue how to stop that. We have to either be currently in a disaster or we cannot be Protestant. I guess I'll just have to fight through it. I can have up to 30 men. Twenty three twenty seven is my max, right? Yes, it is. So I can have the exact amount, my, my exact force limit. These guys rose in Novgorod and they just got beaten in Novgorod. Muscovite Separatists and Rizev. Yep, we're going to have to live without the Great Advisor. It's only a military. We can live without that for a little while. We're ahead of time there anyway. Um, do this. Trade efficiency, yearly corruption. Limit, yeah. Naval morale increased by 0.4. It's good. Now we got positive cash now. Who's sitting out there? Denmark should be 1552. Muscovy's 1559. Are you guys not lining up again, are you? No, they're fine. We will have to live with this. Global trade power increase. Let's go ahead and do this one right here. It should be... Ship trade power. Still waiting on that. Uh, the reformation to get bigger, too. I mean, it's huge right now. A lot of reformed, Protestant... Yeah, state religion's Catholic and stuff like that. We're just trying to get rid of all that. We're up to 10, or excuse me, up to 11 in admin. I really want to get to Scandinavia. That'd be kind of cool. War exhaustion still really high. Dock war is getting ready to go. I think it's time to buzz out to Stockholm just in case. Great advisor has died. Can I afford more than... Well, what'd he die? Yeah, that guy, yeah. 
Um, improve relations or trade efficiency. I like the improve relations just because he's younger. I won't be wasting money. See, he's losing one. He's losing it because six free cities they're generating. It's actually he's losing us. There's 22 heretic princes. All right, sitting in Stockholm, waiting. A military leader left us. Not this guy, though. He's all right. He's just really good maneuver. Just means he's quick, which in a, when you're dealing with uh, unrest and all is very important. Yep, we're already at 9.52. Oplandia has been moved over. Karelia can be done at 1.03. Let's do it. I want Karelia knocked out of that problem. You're a problem, child. Another advisor down, the one who can't die. Um, tax modifier, missionary strength, tax modifier, missionary strength. We're going to do missionary strength one more time. Not only is he younger, but that should speed things along for a few of these. Yeah, 1550 for this one. Matter of fact, it's like a year away just about. It's going to go really quick. Might be able to get a few more guys over here done too. The Dak War. All right, Kalmar and Lapland. Let's go down here to Kalmar. 10 Prestige. Bohemia has announced this as a rival. Crush that rebellion. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to sit here. We're going to take this back. And we're going to Lapland. Keep moving. We're going to get there, but are we going to get there in time to stop him? We'll arrive on the 20th of September, so that's a no. More men, more base manpower. How do we stop this? Civilian at least one, spawn rebels are not particularist. So you're saying I can just go right here and boost it once I get to 140. Send over to here. Hmm. Favor neither because that's not a good idea for Elfsborg to be changing over to you. Burger, yeah, I would just do it. Okay, let's go ahead and. Really? It's like it's one step ahead of me. There it goes. Order has been restored, gaining me one more stability. So pretty quick war. Not too bad. It could have been much worse. Um, now we're waiting for war exhaustion. Yeah, 8.12 for that. I think it's just smarter to go ahead and knock this guy down. Let's do this. Um... Yeah, we're going to be sitting around just building that up. Scanland. Completely forgot that you need to, you could be done. Let's 
start making a ton of money with this thing. Still Muscovite Separatist and Rezov. He's about to go away though. I need money. Aurelia will be done in December of 1550. He's almost done. The stability is doing fine. Manpower is going up. Good prestige. Good legitimacy. I have a 432 king with a 611 heir. Could be doing better than that. Oh, they formed the Commonwealth, I just realized. Novgorod and Belusaru are going to war against each other. Norway can't seem to hold on to anything. Let's do this. Blickage down here. Hundred and twenty will get me skein, which is the most development. Come on. Give it to me. All right, one more month. Waiting on that war exhaustion to go away. Where are you at? You're at 116. Is there no way for me to get you? Yeah, you're still too far away. Economic base being the problem now. I've got you guaranteed, so hey. We've gained up in our skills. I think we just went up in Siege. Yeah, that's awesome. It's one I like to see go up. We have just utterly destroyed Rush, uh, Muscovy. They're not going to be able to ever recoup anything. Losing great war, great power status. Ah, oh, not in time. At least I'm making something. Or exhaustion sitting at 6.12. It's been forever bringing that down. Note to self, don't be an idiot in the future. Um, influence. Let's improve relations with this guy. Let's see if we can get on like dynasties and stuff like that. Relations, there you go. We got Blickinge. The rest of the stuff just costs so much. Um, Jimplin will do that one. One more, and then this area right down here, we'll start trying to get, um, we'll start developing up prosperity, which adds local development costs, local goods produced, things like that. He's having to deal with this. I'm not even going to touch him anymore. 
So long as I'm not going to lose them, I don't care. Like Norway, you have absolutely terrible problems. It's probably because there's that center of reformation right there. Let's repay a loan. There you go. Trying to get better. There you go. All this is Norway's problems. I don't like the reformed uh, zealots, but hey. Uh, I need full morale to deal with them. We're paying 3.49 in interest. We'll wait some things off here. They're dealing with rebels. Hmm. Muscat is guaranteeing their independence while they have claims. They've taken over that. And they're guaranteed by Muscovy. Like, so it's pretty much like Muscovy's like, hey, we're going to guarantee all everybody around us and stop Sweden from growing. That's kind of like what he's doing. What could I do up here? Annexing Vassal. They've kind of not been a good vassal. And you know, they're not, they haven't been great. They've had problems with, you know, been religious problems. They just haven't been good to us. Yep, that just happened. Oh, that's a long way away. And that's a long way away. And alliances are a long way away. And a long way away. All right. Well, we just made them, ha we made them a little bit nicer towards us, I guess. Cost me 695 Diplo. Hmm. It's not that big a deal. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. We're going to end up coming back. We'll fight Levo uh, Denmark again, steal money, annex Norway, and then we'll be prepping ourselves to go to war down here. Um, probably going to go ahead and fight Iceland too. Uh, think about it. Just because they're way out there.